Monday morning. Let's bring in Grover Norquist, who, by the way, joins us in New York City this morning. We're very grateful to see. The New York Times, Grover, is reporting, and I'm reading the headline, millions eligible for free policies under the CARE Act. I'm reading that. I'm reading between the lines. If they're getting it for free, millions of people, that means the taxpayer is going to be forced to ante up some more money. You see tax increases down the road because of Obamacare? Well, we actually know we have tax increases baked into the cake sure down we the do. road. There are yeah. 20 tax increases in Obamacare, eight of them despite Obama promising he'd never raise any taxes of any sort on anyone who earned less than $250,000. Eight of those directly hit middle and lower income Americans. So, Do you think more are to come? Oh, well, first because of all, some have already been passed and kick in in 2014, 2018. The ones the unions are worried about uh, with Cadillac plans and early retirement, those get hit significantly. We just got hit by the 3.8% tax on investment capital gains income. Right. Uh, they're going to need more money because this is not working. They were supposed to yeah. talk, trick healthy young people into paying more uh, for health insurance than you would in a free market in order to subsidize all those freebies. I've got, the, there seem to be demands for tax increases from all over. Mm -hmm. There is a poll of people about Social Security, ages 50 and over. The majority of them, they don't want to see the retirement age raised. They want to tax the rich some more to pay for the shortfall in Social Security. And it's another tax increase that's staring people in the face. Well, you've cut off everybody under 50 who feels just the other way, uh, that they are willing. Do they? Are you but sure of that? You get people, well, you get everything from support for moving to personal accounts rather than the present system. A real loser for people under 50. But look at the tax fight. There are 50 states, not 57, but in the 50 states, 25 of them have Republican governors and Republican House and Senate. They're moving towards lower taxes across the board, yep. income tax cuts in North Carolina with a goal towards abolishing it across the board in Kansas. And in blue states like Minnesota and uh, Illinois, uh, Maryland and California, they're raising taxes rather than reforming government. So unlike Washington, where nothing moves because each side has the veto, in blue states, they're turning themselves into California, and the red states are turning themselves into Texas. That's a good overview, but you're sounding a little defensive, if I may say so. Well, I can't stop California from shooting itself in the foot again, okay? The good news is more and more states, 25 states with 165 million Americans, and the most Americans live in a state with a Republican governor, Republican House, and Senate. Only 81 million Americans, less than half that, live in blue states. So while the country is moving in two directions, most Americans are moving towards lower taxes and they're moving to the red states from the blue states. I hope you're right. And by the way, don't move to New York City permanently because <laughs> Bill de Blasio is going to become the mayor of New York and he's going to tax wealthy people even more. Here like it Europe. Comes. Nice to visit. Yeah. <laughs> you sound like me. Grover Norquist, thanks for being with us today in New York City. Appreciate it.